Okay, so sorry about the uh, handheld nature of this, but I'm going to have to take some macro shots. So I basically 3D modeled uh, the door here. This is a second revision. First time I actually try to make it intricate and uh, like fit into the slot there and do all this fancy schmancy stuff. And then it didn't print because my printer obviously cannot print details that small. So it might have worked if I had an SLA printer, but I have an FDM printer, so I'm kind of stuck the way it is. But... So um, my second go at this, I made it a lot simpler. I made it latch from the outside instead of from the inside. So you can see here there's a uh, catch there on the outside. And that does mean that it actually sticks up above the surface. Um, but that's better than having no catch at all, <laughs> in my book at least. So anyway, we can see here um, it's basically a 3D printed part. And I have a one I printed in uh, clear plastic here. You can see the catch on that side, and there's a uh, little stub-like thing um, that it prints, and that goes through this, the eye of the spring inside there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then I put a, uh, a little metal washer, so I ended up um, using a little bit of uh, crazy glue or cyanoacrylate, and that didn't seem like it was going to hold, so I put some E6000, um, which is like this really tough kind of rubbery um, fabric and plastic and metal glue. It, it works pretty well for pretty much everything. So I put a little bit on that and then I cut a disc out of um, this uh, plastic packing material that everything comes in. <laughs> so I cut a little uh, like a rectangle with it and then I cut a slit and I um, used uh, this tool to actually poke a little hole in the end to enlarge uh, the end of the slit closest to where the shaft will go through. So it would fit snugly around the shaft. And as you can see here, it's all snug now. And it, it allows it to slide, but it, it tensions it along the side here so that this can't pop out easily. So you can see it works now. So let me get this all back together and I'll give you guys a, uh, a demonstration of it actually holding the door shut. Okay, so we're all back together now. And, yep, so basically I made this a little bit longer, a tad bit longer than it needed to be just to make sure the door wouldn't flop open on its own. So you actually do need two hands to open the door here. So one finger in there and then you have to slightly pull the battery cover and then it'll open. And you can release this tab and you can see here obviously um, it's quite a bit longer so you can't just easily shut it. So then you to close it, similarly you just pull and then fit it down like that. And there you go. You can see it sticks out a little bit and it doesn't close perfectly flat. But you know what? That's better than paying. I probably, if I found one with a working battery latch, I probably would have paid like twice as much as I did for this guy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, in a nutshell, if you buy things broken and you know how to fix things, you can get things for a lot cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, that works. There's a little bit of detail lost. I um, uh, printed face down, so this is on glass. I printed so it's perfectly smooth, except for I have some under extrusion issues on my uh, printer. And I printed some detail, like I printed some lines at the top and then like a triangle pointing up, kind of like the original battery uh, door had, sort of like that, but without the text that says open because there's no way my printer would print that. Anyway, um, it's good enough. It's not perfect, but it keeps my battery door shut and it doesn't flop around like it used to. So that's actually an improvement on my book. So yeah, all in all, not the, the easiest thing to, to use, but better than nothing. So I know, yeah, if you guys are interested and um, you want to make one for yourself, say you have a TPSL2 or a WM3, um, it's the same part. It'll fit on both. You just obviously print it in whatever color film. And I print it in black because I have a WM3. If you have a TPSL2, you can get some navy blue filament or some, well, any type of blue filament will probably be fine. Print it out and it'll work. So yeah, I'll have the uh, file available as well as the SolidWorks file if you guys want to modify it to uh, get it to fit a bit better in terms of uh, dimensions. I printed it probably a little bit too long. Uh, just because I was really paranoid about the door accidentally flipping open still. Uh, but if you know if you don't mind a bit of a looser fit, you could actually make it a little easier to open and close by uh, decreasing this front lip there a little bit. Anyway, yeah, works for me.
anyway, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you like, you know, uh, 3D printing and finding, uh, you know, cheap solutions for problems, um, yeah, give the video a like. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, put them down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.